What is going on YouTube? Kronos here and welcome back to another PSO2 video. So I wanted to go over what we have as options available in this seasonal shop. Some people aren't able to farm points consistently at a high level. So I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know what's important, what you should be keeping an eye out for, what you absolutely should 100% go after, and what you can kind of skip over. But before jumping into that, guys, if you're new to the channel, I'm Chrono. I cover primarily PSO2 content. Would much appreciate a subscribers work our way towards that 10K mark. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this. So Cool thing about the shop this time around, I'm not sure if this has happened every single time. I don't really pay that much attention to the shop. I just buy out what I can whenever it pops up. But the shop didn't actually lose anything. It just added to it. So you can see the other stuff that was down here, things I bought last week. Unfortunately, the Blizzardium did not stock back up. I was hoping they would have added more, but they did not. Unfortunate, but that's okay. We're just going to go over what you should be grabbing from this shop. Now, disclaimer, some people value things differently when it comes to fashion, when it comes to, you know, materials, when it comes to money. So I'm going to talk about a little bit of everything to the best of my ability and let you guys know what I think is important and what you should go after first. So start things off, we have the 10th anniversary SP scratch tickets or special scratch tickets. Uh, these kind of increase for each of them. And uh, by the time you get to these bottom ones here, it's about 600,000 points. Um, while I do think this first set is definitely worth it's about 100K, this is definitely in the realm of like fashion specifically. So this might be a dump spot for people. Not a bad one. I think it's important. I'm probably going to go after these because I do want the stuff that's in those scratches. So if that's someone or if you're someone who likes to collect fashion, all this wonderful, wonderful things, definitely go after that. But it is expensive when it comes to points. And of course, I got more fashion. I usually grab these because like realistically speaking, they don't usually come back and they usually are pretty cool. I like this hat quite a bit, actually, because you can color change these hats. So this is going to look pretty dope if I color change it properly. I have a cool little wrappy setup. The nice thing is you can actually buy two of them, so you can account unlock it. So that's really, really nice. And it's not expensive. We also have another idol. Uh, I think they had a glide before in here, but they have a variant idol. They usually tend to do variant idols in these. In this case, it's eating chocolate ice cream as opposed to, I think, like the vanilla last time or a blue ice cream pop or something. I collect stamps, um, but I haven't ever really used them. So if you're a stamp collector, they're here. They're not expensive. Grab them. Uh, this is for everyone. Get your star gems. Like this is like a non-negotiable. I'm actually gonna buy mine right now. Get your star gems. They're useful. Regular spat scratch, uh, regular special scratch tickets are useful as well. People actually don't use them a lot for the uh, <laughs> for their intended purpose, in my opinion. People have been stacking them up, waiting for certain things to pop up in there. Realistically speaking, if you feel like you're running low on star gems or on augmentation items, that's what your special scratch is for. They give you quite a few of them, so I would definitely recommend going ahead and scratching. Uh, the weapons in here can be used for alts, but the other option is available to them is be used as fodder to feed other weapons or to save to sell later. Some people do use them that sort of way as well. It just depends on the individual and how you want to go ahead and use these. Totally, totally up to you. As far as minerals, uh, you'll find that minerals are not like super hard to come by if you're actually farming every day. As you can see, I'm running low on Trinite. So grabbing minerals is a good idea. I think they're important and look how inexpensive it actually is if you were to say grab all the minerals. It's only 37K points, that's not that bad. I would definitely get a hold of them if you can. If you're not gonna grab everything, at least grab the Trinite, the Tetracite, and the Pentalite. Monotite and Dulamite, I feel like we have tons of because it's not hard to get a hold of, but that's 100% up to you. These are very useful when you're you know, trading in for Blizzardium every week, so you'll start to notice your stocks of materials are starting to go down. It's because of those Blizzardium trade-ins. We also have Photon Chunks. Realistically, from this set here, Photon Quartz is the most important one. Quartz uh, are used so often in trading up capsules. I would definitely recommend grabbing those. You can grab the chunk, you can grab the scales. If you're uh, paranoid like me when it comes to trading in a bunch of capsules, I'd get all of them, but it's up to the individual. They're definitely not overly expensive like to the point where i feel like it's not fair so i would definitely grab them at the very least grab quartz i say you may be able to skip scales we haven't really used those for anything too important recently but again times can change so just be ready low temperature damage resistances are pretty nice it is only 40k that's not the end of the world when it comes to points um but just farming combat zones you'll tend to get quite a few of these and 100 percent is kind of overkill for most people you get, what, 50% from an armor setup that you can use very easily. You can then get another 60% just from feeding the mags. And then 50% uh, is enough to put you in a comfortable spot if you, say, you know, get hit by one of the Ancients' attacks. So not too crazy there. Plus, we're not currently in the Gorge a whole lot, so you might be future-proofing to pick these up, but it's up to the individual. 
I don't foresee these exploits being very useful. Unlike the elemental ones, this is like based on time of day and you don't have a way of forcing time of day to move. So I wouldn't really go after this, but it depends on how they decide time of day in instances. So this might be useful. Maybe it will be, maybe it won't be, but I'm probably not going to go after it personally. Uh, I usually go after the stat that I'm currently using. So might just because we use them for trade ups for other things like death might, so on and so forth. It tends to be worth it, but it's definitely low on the totem pole of absolute necessities. Right now, might and technique are going to be the most expensive, probably because might is always expensive as melee tends to be. And technique, not only our tech class is really good, but Waker is on its way out and we're all but 100% sure it is technique based. So people are picking up tech ogs, if not to scalp the market, but to save up for themselves when Waker comes out. The doables, in my opinion, are never worth it. They're always super, super cheap. So it's up to you if you want to go after them, but I really wouldn't bother wasting my points, maybe as a dump spot if you happen to have so many extra points. Uh, Frostal Soul, all these souls here are twos. Um, Croc Soul and Om Soul, absolutely not worth it. These are super cheap since they come from, uh, what's it called, from the Urgent Quest, and we're about to get double Urgent Quest rewards next week. So I wouldn't even look at these. Frost Soul basically says, I want to get one Frost Soul, which I believe is about 80K. Up to you. Very low on the totem pole of actual necessities. I would highly recommend picking up every single note that's listed. All of the notes are very, very useful to an extent. Uh, they're useful with creating dominas. I personally believe they're going to make a combination of all the dominas. So I would recommend picking them all up. But if you're in the boat of people that don't think this is going to happen, I would definitely just skip over the notes for now. But I feel like this is an investment, but we don't really have any grounds for that. 100% speculation. Gigas Might, worth it. Gigas Precision, garbage. Gigas Technique, worth it. Um, if you're a Precision class, unfortunately, all of your stuff, well, fortunately and unfortunately, all of your stuff is very cheap. Um, it's definitely worth it to pick up the Might and the Technique because those are worth about 50k a piece right now. Dreadkeeper, for some reason, is still worth a bunch of money. Still very useful, still very defensive. If you're going to go defensive option, any of your augments, I would say just get Dreadkeeper if you want some defense. Um, but if you're just looking for money, it's also decent money too. A Mega Fusius, it's only 10 of these. I mean, like, you need a lot more to do anything. Um, but I don't have very many, as you can see, and it's not very expensive. So I'd say grab them. Alpha Reactors, this is a situation where it's like tiered up higher. This is a dump stat, basically, or a dump spot. If you have extra points, pick up Alpha Reactors. It's basically free money. And they get exponentially more expensive, as you can see. So very few people ever reach this one where they need to get more. But uh, as long as you grab these first few, these first couple, it's not too bad. And augmentation success rates being 10%. Uh, these are like, you have them a lot. You don't really need to. Again, this is another one of those dump spots. You can just pick up extras if you need them. In most cases, you probably won't unless you're doing extreme amounts of gambling and you need that many more. Uh, end grinders, again, dump spot. Pick these up if you need them, but most people will not. And that really covers everything here. There's not a whole lot that is like insane. You absolutely have to grab outside of star gems but there is quite a bit here that's fairly useful. Realistically speaking, if I were to go through what I'm going to be getting, I believe like I want to definitely get this. I'm going to be picking these two up. I'm going to be grabbing this. Uh, grab all these. We'll grab this. We're going to get those. We'll skip over weapons for now. We're going to get all of this. At least grab quartz. I'm skipping those. I'm grabbing these. Grabbing those. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not absolutely necessary. Grabbing all the notes. Again, this is a situation where I'm making an assumption. It's up to you whether or not you want to believe it, but we had a combination augment that existed back in base PSO2 that really needed a lot of these things. And these notes making dominoes is kind of building directly into it. It looks exactly like, you know, that combination augment did. So a lot of people are speculating this as well. I think they are absolutely right. So I'm going to pick these up as I can. Uh, definitely Might and Technique. We're skipping Precision because it's not worth very much and definitely Dreadkeeper. And then if we've got the extra points, we'll dump them into here. So of course, over two weeks, because you have two weeks for this, 400, it's like, le basically it's less than 500k points. That's totally, totally understandable. In my opinion, I feel like that's, that's way beyond like what's achievable if you're farming points at like a decent level. This is like maybe two or three days of farming points for a couple of hours. So definitely not too bad. I know farming points isn't exactly super fun. You will get quite a few points just, you know, doing normal stuff as you go along. And of course, there is also, I believe, let's double check and see if it is actually here. 
it always is. This is kind of something I didn't actually check for beforehand. Yeah, okay, there we go. You have the ability to trade in for these. Please tell me, okay, yeah, okay. I was gonna say, please don't just be AC. It's SG as well, there you go. You can trade in for the recycle badges. Only cost five to get one. I would say only buy them one at a time because they're up for an hour. You wanna force yourself into more than an hour of farming at a time if you're not gonna use it for the entire hour. Just depends. But hopefully that helps out someone. If you guys have any questions about this process, if you didn't know what to grab on your end, let me know in the comments. If you guys have something that you normally go for that I skipped over, by all means, feel free to let me know. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe when you keep up with more. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Peace out.